Good day. Welcome to our home economics class, Cookery 10. I am Sir Alvin, and I will be your teacher for this video lesson. To start things off, let us have a prayer first. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Father God, come be with us today. Fill our hearts with joy. Fill our minds with learning. Fill our classrooms with peace. Fill our lessons with fun. Fill our friendships with kindness. Fill our school with love. Amen. So, let us have a recall now or review about our topic last meeting. So, uh, last meeting, we talked about the types of knives and its uses. And what are those? We have 10, right? Utility knife, steak knife, carving knife, carving fork, cleaver, paring knife, boning knife, chef's knife, santoku knife, and bread knife. And we talk about the compositions of meat as well. What are those? We have three, water, protein, and fat. And aside from that, we also discuss two kinds of connective tissues, which are collagen and elastin. So, I hope that you still remember our lesson last meeting. Okay? And to introduce ourselves with the new, the, uh, the new lesson for this video, let us encounter some new words. First is grisel, tough cartilaginous, tendinous, or fibrous matter, especially in table meats. Sinews, a piece of tough fibrous tissue uniting muscle to bone or bone to bone, a tendon or ligament. The third one is grain of meat, refers to the direction of muscle fibers present in the meat. Okay, so these are the words that we need to look out for in this uh in this video lesson okay so let us play a game to start our lesson no? let us play word hunt i know you are familiar with this game instructions find the given words below no? words to hunt kara beef meat trimming and seasoning and you will find it in this box of words right here okay so i will give you 20 seconds only to uh, hunt the words that we are looking for okay Start now. Okay, so let us now see no kung nasaan ba yung mga words na hinahanap natin. Okay, yan seasoning kara beef, trimming, and meat. No, All of those words are related to our topic for this video lesson. Okay? So, before we start our discussion, I would like you to get a piece of paper and a pen first. Okay? Make sure na meron kayong papel at, pa at a ball pen or lapis sa tabi ninyo. Okay? Dahil meron tayong mga sasagutan na tanong later on as we move along with this video. Okay? Sige, let's start. So, I want you to take a look at these pictures. Ayan, we have Animal Parade, no? So, take a look, observe the pictures, okay? Now, what can you see in the pictures? Yes, no? We have animals in the pictures. No? As you can see, we have various animals here. But they are not just animals. We, they are what we call farm animals no we have pig we have a calf we have a goat a cow or adult cattle we have a sheep and lastly we have a carabao now what do you think is the relation of these farm animals in our lives now given that they are farm animals ano kaya sa tingin ninyo okay so ang mga hayop na ito class ay ang pinagkukunan natin ng meat no na nakita natin sa palengke no yan ang uh, yan ang purpose nila no aside from being farm animals they're also our sources of meat no kung wala sila mahihirapan tayong makakuha ng karne at makakain din okay so ano kaya ang importance of knowing the different kinds of meat from these farm animals it is important because kailangan nating maging 
familiar sa different needs out there no na, na nakikita natin in public markets para alam natin kung ano ang dapat natin bilhin at kung ano yung hahanapin natin when we are looking for specific type of meats okay and because of that that is actually our our first topic for today sources of meat okay so in order to tackle this even further let us play a game called pick the source no direction determine which animals the correct source of the given meat let's start tayo ha which of the following animals is our source of pork is it pig is it calf or is it goat okay let us see yes very good so pork pork came from uh, domesticated pigs typically high in fat commonly slaughtered one year or less of age to ensure tender cuts okay high in fat and good for bacon pork is the most commonly consumed red meat worldwide okay gaya nga ng sinabi ko last meeting di ba ang fat sa composition of meat ang fat it contributes to juiciness, tenderness, and flavor. At ayan yung nakikita natin, di ba? Sa picture natin here, no? sa pork, no? Nakikita mo yung fat, okay? Di ba? Iba't ibang layers of fat meron, no? In between the muscle fibers o yung mismong laman. Kaya kapag nagluluto tayo ng pork, no? Nagiging malasa talaga yung naman ng pork, di ba? Kasi natutunaw natin yung fat. Again, Pork came from domesticated pigs, typically high in fat, commonly slaughtered one year or less of age to ensure tender cuts. Next one, which of the following animal is our source of beef? Is it pig, is it cattle, or is it sheep? Sige, let's try sheep. Natin kung tama. Okay, mali. Ano kaya? Yes, cattle. Beef is meat from cattle over one year old. So, ang appearance ng beef ay bright red in color, no? Sa nakikita nyo sa picture, di ba? Matingkad yung pagiging pula niya, okay? It is tougher meat due to its muscles, muscle build, okay? Kasi mas matured na, again, over one year old, no? Yung baka na source ng beef, okay? So, ibig sabihin, medyo matanda na ito, Okay? So, that's why tougher yung meat niya compared to other types of meat natin or other kinds of meat natin. Okay? Next one. Which of the following animal is our source of lamb? Is it pig? Is it, is it cattle? Or is it sheep? Okay. Yes. Okay. So, lamb came from domesticated sheep. Its texture is a direct result of what it consumes and the age at which it is slaughtered. So, lamb is a, it has firm and well-marbled meat, okay? It is popular in Middle East and some parts in Europe. Prized for its distinctive flavor, freshness, and tenderness. Ma-identify mo kapag fresh yung lamb class, kapag light pink to light red ang itsura ng meat, Okay? So, in some parts of the world, dito kasi sa Pilipinas, hindi tayo madalas nakakakita ng lamb sa public market. Pero, sa ibang bansa, alternative na ito sa beef. Okay? Again, si lamb, alternative sa beef. And galing ito sa domesticated sheep. Okay? Now, on to the next one. Which of the following animal is our source of veal? Is it goat? Is it calf? Or is it sheep? Let us try goat. Okay, mali. Ano kaya? Yes. Calf, flesh of a young calf, 4 to 5 months old. No? So, yun yung veal, sorry. Veal, nakukuha natin to sa flesh of a young calf, 4 to 5 months old. No? Yun yung edad niya. Okay, because of its age, it is considered by some to be the finest meat. They have immature muscles. That's why they, their meat is tender. Okay? Kung kanina, ang beef galing sa 1-year-old, uh, over 1-year-old na baka, civil naman, galing siya sa batang baka na may edad lamang na 4 to 5 months old. 
ngayon, bakit siya naging finest meat? Kasi unlike beef, okay, unlike beef, hindi pa ganun na workout yung muscles ng ng beef ng calf, no? Ng isang batang baka, okay? That's why immature pa yung muscle, underdeveloped pa. Kaya malambot pa talaga. Hence, it is considered to be the finest meat. No, for comparison, nakikita natin na yung veal, ang kulay niya pinkish. Medyo may pagka pinkish ang veal. And at the same time, yung, and however, yung beef naman ay bright red, no? So again, si veal mas malambot siya kaysa kay beef. And in appearance naman, pinkish ang color ni veal and beef naman has a bright red appearance. And si veal, no source natin siya from a young calf which is 4 to 5 months old. Ang beef naman, we source it from a cattle which is over 1 year old. Okay? And for our last two sources of meat, we have cara beef which is meat from carabao and shabon which is meat from deer or goat. Okay? Kasi cara beef, tougher din siya tulad ni beef, no? Medyo matigas yung meat niya kaya perfect siyang gamitin if you want to have processed meat, no? yung beef jerky or tapa no beef jerky tapa yon for in Filipino and chevon naman ito yung usual yung kinakaldereta or ina adobo kapag may pesta or may handaan okay so i'm pretty sure you're all familiar with these sources of meat okay so for our first question nasasagutan ninyo sa inyong piece sa inyong papel number one, what are the differences of beef and veal as mentioned in the video lesson Again, you are to answer this question in a piece of paper na kaninang pinakuha ko sa inyo before we start the lesson. Okay? And you will submit your answer via uh, the Google Classroom. So, make sure that you finish this because meron pang question number 2. Okay? So, sige. So, let us now move on to the basic preparation methods of meat which is our topic number 2. Okay? So, Ito class, ano sa tingin ninyo ang ating first basic preparation methods of meat based on the pictures? Oh, I have a jumbled word here to help you. Okay, washing, no? Based sa picture, di mo, nakikita ninyo na hinuhugasan ng uh, tao sa picture yung meat, okay? Generally, the only occasion in which you will have to wash meat is when it comes into contact with blood during preparation. After washing, dry food thoroughly with absorbent kitchen paper ayan no so sa public market natin dito importante na hugasan natin yung meat okay pag bumibili tayo sa public markets natin kasi alam naman natin na hindi ganoon kalinis yung meat no coming from our public markets therefore mas maganda nang maging sigurado tayo na malinis ang ating meat no na uh, kakainin okay and it's very important as well na we dry the food, we dry the meat, okay? By patting it dry using absor absorbent kitchen paper, okay? So, next one. Ano kaya ito? Yan, I have a jumbled word again. So, sa nakikita nyo, based on the picture, ano kaya ito? We are removing the skin. Hence, we are skinning the meat. Yan, no? So, most of the meat you dealt with has been already skinned by the supplier. Usually sa public markets, nakikita natin na nabalatan na no, yung meat, okay? So usually ginagami, ginagawa natin itong skinning meat kapag nagtotosino, di ba? Nga namang balat yung tosino. Therefore, tinatanggal natin. And we are skinning or removing the skin no, from the meat. Okay? Anong ginagamit natin sa skin? Pag nag, when we are removing the skin of the meat, we are using boning knife, di ba? To remove bones and to skin meat. Okay? Next one, ano kaya ito? Nakikita nyo yan sa menudo. Okay? I have a jumbled word again here. This is dicing. Very good. Ayan o, dicing the meat. Meat is diced when it is cut into cubes for various types of casseroles, stems, curries, and dishes such as steak, kidney pie, and pudding. Okay? So, usually, ito yung nakikita nyo hiwa sa menudo. Okay? Kapag cut into cubes, ang tawag doon ay dicing. Ito, ano kaya ito, class? 
Ayan, I have a jumbled word again. Based on the picture. Okay, very good. Nice. Trimming, okay? Reasons for trimming improve the appearance of the cut or joint, no? When we say trimming, we are we are removing the excess fat or the undesirable parts of the meat. As you can see in the untrimmed meat, tsaka sa trim meat natin sa picture, nakikita nyo, sa untrimmed meat, meron pang mga taba, meron pang mga litid, di ba? Hindi natin makita yung tunay na quality ng meat. However, sa trim meat naman, nakikita natin na yung meat mismo, no? yung mga muscle fibers, di ba? Yung mga, ayan, yung mga intramuscular fat or yung marbling na tinatawag. Okay? Nakikita nyo yung mga puti na yan. Those are what we call marbling, okay? So, nakikita natin na lumilinis or gumaganda yung itsura ng meat whenever we trim it, no? whenever we remove the excess fat, no? yung mga sinews or gristles. Later on, I'm going to show you what are those. Okay? Reasons for trimming. Again, improve the appearance of the cut or joint. Number two, leave as much of the meat intact as possible. C, leave an even thickness of fat. Remove and letter D, remove as much gristles and sinews as possible. Okay? Yung gristles and sinews, ito yan. Okay? Ayan. Okay? So, gristles, nakikita ninyo yung buto na puti. Yung katabi niyan. Ayan, yung katabi. Those are what we call gristles. Okay? Lifted siya and hindi mo siya mapapalambot kahit anong gawin natin. No? Sasama siya sa elastin. Yung pinag-usapan natin about composition of meat. Okay? Aside from that, we also have sinews or yung tinata... Ito... Uh, here in this picture, ito yung tinatawag natin sinews or mas kilala bilang silver skin. Usually, ito yung tinatanggal ng mga butsero sa palengke. Yung nakikita ninyo. No? And again, hindi pa rin ito napapalambot. Okay? Kahit gaano katagal mong siyang palambutin is wala. Hindi talaga. Okay? So, it is very important to remove this. Okay? This too. Whenever we are trimming the meat. Okay? And yan. So, kaya, ano to? What is this uh, basic preparation methods of meat? Based on the picture, no? Slicing, tama. Okay? Sige, tignan natin kung anong definition ng slicing. It is the cutting of meat by determining the, dire the direction of the grain or the muscle fibers and cut across the grain. This is particularly, particularly important with tougher cuts such as steak in which the grain is also quite obvious. Nakikita natin, no? Yung sinasabing grain or yung muscle fibers, ito yan, class. Nakikita nyo yung mga guhet, no? Yung salaman, nung baka. Okay? Ayan, nakikita nyo yung mga guhet. Those are what we call grain of meat or the muscle fibers. And it is very important to cut across the grain, no? So, salungat tayo dapat. Why? Why? Because slicing pa lang, pwede na nating matenderize ang ating beef, no? So, through slicing, may iwasan natin na maging chewy yung meat natin whenever we are preparing it. Okay? So, again, slicing, it is the cutting of meat by determining the, the direction of the grain. Okay, so, ito naman kaya, applying salt on the food or on the meat in this case. Ano kaya ito? Okay. Seasoning. Yes. No? It is the addition of salt and white or black pepper to improve the flavor of food. Use white pepper or cayenne pepper on food which you want to keep attractive with white color. And letter B, add salt to roast and grill after the meat has browned. Adding salt before cooking will extract the juices of the meat to the surface and slows down the browning, the browning reaction sorry, which need high temperature and dry heat. So again, Addition of salt and white or black pepper to improve the flavor of food is seasoning. Okay? Now, focus naman tayo sa letter B. Add salt to roast and grill after the meat has browned. Why do we need to do that? I want you to remember this. When we are adding salt to the food, usually, nagiging... Uh, nagtutubig siya. Okay? Nag-extract siya ng tubig. And kapag nangyari yun, when we add salt to roast and grill before natin siya mapabrown, ang mangyayari ay... Kukulo lang siya dun sa in-extract niyang moisture or water no, dahil sa salt. So, it is very important to note no, na before tayo maglagay ng salt sa roasted beef or grilled chicken or grilled pork, importante na ma-brown muna natin siya. Okay? So, yan. 
And lastly, I'm pretty sure you are, you are all familiar with this. Okay, the, this is coating. Ayan, sige. We have two basic coatings, no? One is when we use flour. Coat the meat before cooking. Otherwise, the flour becomes sticky and unpleasant. And number two, second option is when we use breadcrumbs. Okay? Coat the meat in flour, then egg wash. Egg wash is made of lightly beaten whole egg with a little water or milk. And finally, with the breadcrumbs, no? So, ayan yung two uh, types of coating natin. Two basic coatings, okay? So, to further understand our lesson, meron, ta- meron akong pre-prepare na story dito. And you will help me, no, to figure out this story, okay? So, on a Sunday morning, Aling Sally have decided to cook beef saltikaw for her family. She immediately go to the nearest market from her house. At the market, she bought 5 kilograms of unclean beef from, a, from her favorite vendor, then proceeds to walk towards her home. Now, the question is, this is what we're going to figure out, okay? What do you think should Aling Selly do to the meat before she cooks it? Okay, so let us help Aling Selly know in preparing uh, her newly bought meat from the market using our basic preparation methods that we've discussed a while ago, okay? So, let us now, let us now help her, no? Help Aling Selly in preparing her meat for her family. First, Aling Selly should, which of these three yung dapat gamit, yung dapat natin gawin muna, okay? Sa meat na binili ni Aling Selly, do we wash it, do we trim it first, or do we slice it first? The right answer is, to wash the meat and pat it dry with an absorbent kitchen paper first. Then, she could start. Remember na untrimmed beef yung binili niya, di ba? After washing, what what do we do next? The correct answer is to trim her newly bought meat from the market, okay? Afterwards, Aling Selly may proceed to, ano kaya? Slicing, dicing, or seasoning? The correct answer is slicing the meat and then after you slice the meat you need to dice it no? she can now when we have flour ano yung ginagamit ano yung ginagawa natin basic preparation methods when we have flour yes very good no the correct answer is to coat it with flour and lastly to season the meat before cooking so ayan natulungan na natin si Aling Selly in preparing her meat for her family at makapagluto na siya ng beef salpikaw ayan and Aling Selly would like to thank you for would like to thank you for helping us no would like to thank us sorry for helping her in preparing her uh, family's meal okay so again meron na naman akong question sa inyo ayan what is the importance of knowing the basic preparation methods of meat again what is the importance of knowing the basic preparation methods of meat? You will answer this in a piece of paper together with the question number one and you will submit it via Google Classroom on our Google Classroom, okay? Sige, ayan. So, aside from that, aside from that two questions, I also have another, another activity for you to do, okay? So, direction, pick one kind of meat pork, beef, veal, etc. Mentioned in our video lesson, di ba? We, we discussed pork, beef, veal, chevron, kara beef, lamb, di ba? In our sources of meat. So, pipili lang kayo ng isa doon. And, choose one dish that uses that kind of meat yung pinili ninyo. Can? Okay? And then, identify the basic preparation methods used in cooking your chosen dish. Okay? So, yeah, mag- Pipili kayo ng isang source of meat and then pipili ulit kayo ng isang dish that uses what you've chosen, what you've chosen as a source of meat and then i-identify ninyo okay, kung ano yung mga basic preparation methods na ginagawa ninyo kapag niluluto niyo yung pagkain na yun, okay? Submission, accomplish this activity using MS Word and submit it to our Google Classroom. Okay? Ayan, sige. Now, for your assignment, area, cook written, topic, prepare meat cuts, word study, doneness, aging, and niacin. Guide question, 
What are the four kinds of doneness in meat? Why is it important to know the doneness of meat? How are you going to distinguish the, mar the market forms of meat? Okay, let me make this clear. I want you to have an advanced reading only of this topic. Okay, later on, after this video, I will be sending your module too. Okay, so you don't need to answer the guide questions. Use this literally just as a guide no, to remind you of what you need to know in, the, in our module too. Okay. And lastly, do not forget to take your 20 item quiz after watching this video lesson. The link to the Google form is in the description box below. So make sure to visit the description box in order for you to have an access to our 20 item quiz. Okay, this 20 item quiz will include all of our uh, lessons or topics in our module 1. Okay, so. Thank you for watching the video. Keep safe and God bless. Again, I will be expecting two activities from all of you, okay? And one quiz, okay? First is the two questions. Second is the activity where we, you are going to choose a source of meat, a dish, and a numerator identify the basic preparation methods of meat used for that dish. And the third one is the quiz, the 20 item quiz, okay? Thank you again for watching the video. Keep safe and God bless. Goodbye class.